What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? Guess what? We got some new mods. New map, too. And also another good one. So let's get into them, guys. First, go to your mod section, like always, guys. Make sure you click that Show All Mods button. We go there. Okay, we're going to save the map for the last thing. We're also going to be doing a map tour today, of course. First, in Harvesters, we have the Atco Ideal. This is by Iron Modding. Let's see. This is the Echo Ideal pack. Included is the Ideal and its and his Reapers with matching cutting unit carriage. Uh, price is 465,000. Performance Ideal 8, 538 horsepower, and the Ideal is n Ideal 9 is 647 horsepower. Uh, category: They'll be in the Combine Harvester, Cutter, and Cutter Trailer. So there's there is a trailer with it too. Uh, configurations: You can get Crawler, Default, Wide Tires, and Double Tires. Wow. Harvester, uh, Fent in black and green, Mossy Ferguson in gray and red, uh, Challenger in orange and yellow, design colors in the seat as in the outer cabin, wow, choice of color on rims, and warning signs installed, attachments, color configuration as ideal. Wow, so this is like an upgraded uh, um, ideal. <laughs> okay, so let's install that one. Next, on the crop protection, we have the Terragator 9205 by FA285634. Thank you. Uh, found on a yard sale, uh, this old Terragator spreader has already proven its value on helping out on the field. After some repairs and minor upgrades, the machine is now ready to be used again. Notes. It is 175,000. Uh, horsepower is 1,780. Wow. Kilowatts, 1,160. And the working width is 24 meters. I cannot wait to use this, guys. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go down here more. Uh, manure spreader, that's the Terragator. Uh, let's see, header trailers, nothing. Um, packages, nothing. Um, objects, we have the Quran Shed, which I just showed this earlier today, and I was right about the way it looked. Uh, shed price is 9,000. So let's install that one. Uh, farm buildings, there is nothing. And others, I do not see anything. So let's get to the map. Th I will not be showing the map off on this this video right here. Uh, make sure you guys look on the channel in probably about like an hour, hour and a half. And I should have the map tour up, guys. And that map is the New Woodshire by uh, Red and Kinstis. Yeah, I can never pronounce his name, but he's the same guy that made Aldestine. I know this is going to be a good map. I know. Welcome to Woodshire. A small town in North of America. So guys, guess what? First American map. I know everybody's been wanting one. Uh, on various farms, there's cows, pigs, sheep, and chickens grow up here between mountains and forests. The people living in Winchester appreciate local produce, so the fields need to be cultivated and the an animals need to be fed. In addition to agriculture, forestry is a large part of the economy in Winchester. The large spruce and fir forests offer a lot of work for the woodcutter. So let's install that one. Uh, we are going to go on the map and check out the regular mods. Here we go, guys. Okay, here we are on beautiful Felsbrunn. So let's get with these mods. Well, pretty big mods, actually. First one we're going to go with, of course, is the biggest combine. Uh, let's see. There's the regular one, and then there's the other one. 465,000, still the same speed. This one's only 20. This one's 31 slots. I still get people asking me what are slots. Uh, the 402 up there, uh, then the 1299. On console, we have 1,299 slots on a map. We cannot go over that. I know it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, it's for our machines don't, you know, lock up or freeze or the game crashes or anything like that. It's basically to protect our consoles. Hopefully, with the new consoles that come out, we won't have to worry about that. But anyways, that's a different story. Let's get into these mods. So 538 horsepower, same amount, 20 slots. So pretty much everything is the same on it, except for you go in, go in it. You can change your color to Fent Black, Fent Green, uh, Mossy Ferguson Gray, Mossy Ferguson Red, Challenger Orange, Challenger Yellow. Same thing with the design colors, except for, yep, pretty much same thing. And then rim colors. And then we have Trailborg or Michelin with double the twin wheels. Woo. Then, we, of course, we got the crawler track, and then back to Michelin. Standard. I like those wide tires. 
Strawberg, Michelin. And then you got Fent Design, Mossy Ferguson, Challenger, and then the Ideal 8T, the 9T. That adds an extra 54,000, geez. So, of course, my Fent, I love. Uh, let's do this. Let's go over to colors. Let's put it uh, Fent Green. Change this one to uh, yeah, Fent Black. And then Rim Color. Uh, just keep it as, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, let's lease that one real quick. And we'll get one more. Uh, let's just get... Oh, I like that orange, though. Got yeah, orange, yellow. But I like that orange. Let's do that. And then let's put yellow right there. And then room color can stay the same, though. But look at that. Yeah, look at the insides, too. You see that? Let's zoom in. Even the, even the insides change color. So let's lease that one. Okay, so there they are. Get in here. I think with the design color also changes the seat color. So that's pretty cool. See, because look on here, this one's all yellow. Get in. There we go. Okay, it's pretty much the same concept. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get a regular ideal, the regular one. See, all, the other one all I could do is that, that's it. Change the change the side stuff, that's about it. And then AT and 9T. Let's just get the same exact one. We'll try to compare it a little bit. Okay, let's open this one up. Oops. Oops, not turn that on. See, it looks like the top is exactly the, yeah, everything's exactly the same. It's just pretty much the colors and your configuration. See, everything is exactly the same. I mean, the inside looks exactly the same. Let's look at this. See, that looks like that. And let's go into the orange one. Let's turn it on. Yeah, see, exactly. Okay. Okay, so let's get rid of mod mod this one right there. Then we can turn this one off. I like this. Okay, and then, of course, we have that comes with it can't do any harvesting without any headers so same thing there's the regular two right here 78 79,000 here's a model one 79 78,000 so and they're exactly the same really it's just the colors so since we got a fence green one get that one and then of course we got challenger one so get yourself an orange one and put challenger on it and there we go see I like it. Definitely, definitely different. Man, those things are big. <laughs> really big. Okay, next mod we got. Uh, hopefully I got enough room over here. Okay, next thing we are looking for, you go right in here. You go to, I believe it's crop protection, I'm thinking. Yes, there it is. The Terrigator is 175,000. It is 12 slots, so not too bad. 1,570 horsepower. So this is the most powerful thing we have in Farming Simulator now. Uh, it can hold up to 45,000 liters of manure. So that is a lot. How much is the biggest thing of manure right now that we did have? Uh, that would be, let's see, this one holds 32,000. That one holds 60,000, so. so it's not the biggest one. But still, it comes with its own machinery and everything. Don't need to buy, you know, a tractor or anything. So, 26 miles an hour. Let's see, you can change the main color to pretty much any color you can think of. Yep, same thing. But we're gonna keep it as the yellow Challenger. So let's lease it. Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that wasn't really planned. Let's, uh, let's sell those things real quick. Um, um, yeah, okay, the Terrigator is floating. That's just something that normally happens, guys. Uh, let's try to sell that and <laughs> go back in. Let's try this again. There we go. Even though it's all the way back here. Why are you all the way back there for? Okay, well, this is it. Looks really nice. Of course, manure goes back there and it gets shot out. 
challenger. There's that. Let's uh, let's turn on this just to see what all we have right here. You need to fill the tool, turn on manure spreader, unfold it. So when you unfold it, oh, that thing comes up. That's cool. Uh, honk. Let's, let me actually get closer real quick. There's beacons. That's the horn. Does sound like a different kind of horn. Here is the inside. Let's turn her on. It does have lights. Let's see if uh, those lights light up. I think it doesn't look like those things move at all, really, though. But still, this thing is nice. Uh, let's just, can we turn it on real quick? Let's see. Without any manure. No, I can't turn it on real quick. Okay. Hold on, we're gonna try to get some manure real quick, guys. Okay, here we are. Full of manure. This, I can tell you one thing, though. This thing is easy to turn. Okay, so we need to unfold it, of course. So L1 and X. And that thing comes right on up. And then... There you go. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. I like this thing. I know I'm crushing the crops right here, but I just wanted to show you guys how it works. So make sure you use this thing in like the first growth stage or if you have crop destruction on. Okay, there we go. So that is the Terrigator. I like it. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay, you know, you can just roll down the hill. Just, just keep rolling. Okay, last thing we got is placeables, guys. So let's go over here and let's uh, look at the new placeable we have. Okay, so we go over here. We go to probably under sheds. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. I believe we have updates on the Euro Tunnel too. I don't really use Euro Tunnel that much. Okay, and there we, there it is right there. The Karen MGTSZ Karen Shed. It is only 9,000. It is five slots. And it is pretty big, actually. I didn't think it was this big. And I think that is, yeah, that's the only one. So here it is right here. It looks like, uh, looks like there is no lights, though. I'm thinking, hold on. Uh, make sure I don't miss anything. We also have a calendar of Feb looks like February, I think. Uh, it looks like it's a month off. Uh, we got some paper right there. There is a uh, fire extinguisher, so in case... I love that symbol, though. That is an awesome symbol. So we got some windows. Yeah, I don't see no lights at all. So, but this is a pretty nice shed. So that is the mods for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, remember, after this video, like an hour or two after this video, there will be an upload of the map tour. So make sure you guys do check that out. Like always, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you have not subbed yet. Also hit the bell notification so every time I upload, you guys will know about it. Like always, thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace. Yeah.